Hey everyone, welcome back to GM Details. In today's video we're going to take a look at applying Garage Therapy's new wax. We're going to be using the new panel wipe as well. We've got a brand new applicator just out of the packet. So can't cross contaminate with anything and several cloths and a swirl finder light to use. So let's get into it. In anticipation for the wax coming out, um, I took my test panel just so that you can get a quick appreciation of what the wax is like to apply just before wax stock because that's when it's going to be generally released. Now what I did with this test panel is polished up with a two stage polish on the left hand side and as you can see as we come across as we get near the middle we've still left that all swirled up because Paul Dalton's Instagram post actually says it has good filling capabilities so we'll test that out as well but using with Garage Therapy's new panel wipe I'm going to use the panel wipe on two sets so we're going to split the, the test panel into four sections and obviously have a control section as well and what we'll see from that is whether the panel wipe makes the wax last a bit longer so we're just going to check the water behaviour of the panel beforehand the far away side, way over here, is the polished side and this is the unpolished side. You can see the line just appearing just right down here where the polishing stops or the tape line was. And as you can see, there's no water behaviour whatsoever. We've got quite a bit of sheeting on the left hand side but that's appropriate for a freshly polished up panel. Oh, apologies for that. There we are. Flat as the pancake. So use a drying towel just to dry off. China, obviously, with a drying towel, you don't want to drag it across the panel. Doesn't make much difference if it's just this test panel right enough, but you want to make sure that you don't drag it across the panel dry because there's a risk then you could inflict some minor marring. Now to apply the panel wipe I'm going to be using one of these pedal weave cloths. Very very good, very soft although they look very low pile which is just exactly what you need for removing waxy sealants or applying things like panel wipes or quick detailers a really versatile cloth and very low lint so up here i'm going to apply the panel wipe to this section and this section down here so we're going to have opposite ends and then obviously in these two sections we have no panel wipe and in the center we're going to have the control section So let's get this opened up. It's a very nice glass jar and inside it, honey, I'm looking for the applicator there, it's underneath it. Right, so let's see how it is to apply. Now, take the wax, brand new applicator, just put one twist and you've got that amount of wax on it, fantastic. Now we're going to just dab it on. It says in the instructions. We've got to follow instructions from manufacturers, haven't we? And it says in the instructions to apply it in circles. So that's what we'll do. It feels as it's applying that you know you're applying something. It's certainly quite grippy. The 
all we had was that quarter turn and there's still plenty of wax on the applicator so we'll keep working it in The more you work it, the, the stiffer it actually seems to become. But anyway, that's one layer applied and I can't really see any sort of hazing from it or actually any thin film, which is good because it means it's been applied very thinly. Go on and do the other side now. Same thing again, take the wax and just a little quarter turn. Plenty of wax on that and start certainly isn't the oiliest of waxes, it's quite a firm wax. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there is a slight haze to it. Let me just see there. A bit of a haze. So we'll leave that for five minutes before we buff that off. With the light on it, you can see the haze, the wax that's been left curing away. That's been five minutes, so we're going to buff this off with a completely different pedal weave cloth. And we'll start off, as it says, just very gently. Just kind of takes off a little layer at a time cloth over. After removing with that cloth I'll just give it another super buff with a super high pile cloth. Something like a 500, 550 GSM, something like that. This is the side with all the scratches in it. The unpolished side. You just don't feel any resistance there at all. You just don't know that there's actually a wax that you're removing. Certainly no dust in with it anyway, you just don't see it. So there we have it, this is the polished side. If you remember the Rupes video with the microfiber pads, so I polished one half and left the other side to test the masking capabilities of the wax. And on this particular panel, I'm not seeing any benefit using this light, but with a natural sunlight from a distance, it does look nice and smooth. Thoughts on application, it's not the easiest wax to work with, and on editing, uh, I noticed that, that possible mistakes were made by going over the covered area a few times, making it a little bit grabby. You're advised to get the wax off very quickly, which sort of rushes the process a little until you get a rhythm going. Being unscented as well is a little disappointed from a user experience perspective. 
If you're looking for slickness from a wax, then for me on this occasion it wasn't in the slightest bit slick to the touch as this little foam block crudely demonstrates. But if you like your beading, then it excels in that. So this is three days after I applied the wax and you can see the control section in the centre flooding a little bit. It's also quite dirty, it's been raining with that Sahara sand that's in it so it's not getting the best from the beading at the moment but I wanted to show you just before I gave it a clean. I'm going to stick with the garage therapy system as presumably if you've invested in the wax you'll want to maintain it with the core chemicals so my plan is to see how it copes with a 10 wash test using Garage Therapy 1 Shampoo. I'm using version 1 at the moment. Now this test panel has been sitting in the garden for around a month, collecting all the atmospheric pollution any other car is subject to, as you can see, dirt, bird crap, etc. Testing chemical resistance of a wax is very subjective, and I'm only using it as a rough guide to the potential of the product. Washing your car repeatedly isn't a fair representation of daily life either, so these results have been nothing more than entertainment value. And as the panel is so dirty, I'm not going to go straight in with a shampoo in a minute. I'm using Garage Therapy Snow Foam at 2% PIR. That's only 6 millilitres in a 300 millilitre solution in the IK Foamer, just to help carry away that sand and bird crap. And having a bird crap on your car is supposed to be a compliment anyway, as they think that your shiny car is a pool of water. Right colour for it anyway, but these two bombs couldn't have been in any better place, as it will allow us to see if it's affected the wax on either the polished and unpolished sides. That's interesting, it's left its mark. We'll keep an eye on that during the wash stage. Same on the unpolished side, but it seems to have a quite a bigger area. Might be holding on to dirt, so we'll just watch out for that during the wash. So I'm going to keep on washing the panel to see how long it takes to degrade the wax. Taking a break every 10 washes to compare results. I'll speed up the footage during these stages so you don't get bored. After the first 10 shampoo washes, there's absolutely no difference to the performance of the wax, neither the polished or the unpolished, panel wiped or not, all of the sections are performing very well, and those bird crap flat spots have gone too, must have been something blocking the wax which the shampoo has removed. Here's just a quick look at the hydrophobic qualities from the polished side, moving on to the unpolished side. So it's beading and sheeting like it's been freshly applied. So 
So after 20 washes, the protection is still on point, beading and sheeting on both polished and unpolished sides. The water's running off well and no water pooling or even slower sheeting, even hinting of starting. Onwards with another 10 washes then. So that's 30 washes now and things are getting a little bit boring if we're going to continue with the shampoo. A sign of the beading slightly wearing off, but only slightly. So let's move up the scale a little bit with some Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo, a 10% dilution, and let's see what happens here. So the idea is when at 30 washes, the wax has taken a good scrubbing. Now might be a good time you'd be thinking of removing it for another coat or maybe something like 3CS or whatever. Let's see what happens after the wash pad works it in. Then I'll do another 10 washes and see where we are then. So maybe no surprise then that Zero Decon at 10% seems to have removed the wax. On the left hand side of the screen maybe a little bit less of a hit due to it being polished before waxing for that best bond. But in case there's any residue from Zero Decon, I'm going to do another 10 washes. How many is that now? 40 washes with Garage Therapy 1 shampoo and the areas where I applied the Zero Decon shampoo have removed the wax. Sheeting is still there in between it and it kind of looks like beading might still be there depending on how much waterfall there is. It's really quite impressive. If you look closely on the left, which is the polished side, it certainly looks like it's grabbing less water than what it is on the unpolished side. That's the first time we've seen that sort of behaviour there. So how about I do another round of 10 washes to round it up to 50. Here goes. Now we're nearly at the end now guys and thanks for sticking with it so far. I know it's been a long video and so many don't believe in this type of testing but I find it quite helpful in a way, in particular strengths and weaknesses of a product. And my thoughts on this wax aside from a few issues on application and my honest opinion, once you get to grips with it being a bit tricky to apply, once it's on, it's on. It certainly withstood 50 washes using Garage Therapy 1 shampoo. That's not to say it's going to last a year washing it every week, as you've got so many other environmental factors like heat and rainwater splash areas to contend with, but it is impressive. As it should be, being the first Garage Therapy wax, and Maz has said that it could have been made with ease of application in mind, but that would affect longevity. So, true wax lovers will love this. In effect, they do, because the first batch of it was sold out. Personally though, I get a little bit of fatigue using a wax puck or an applicator, so waxing just really isn't for me. I'd rather spend £40 on 3CS and Sigma and work with those products, which would save me from a lot of pain and discomfort. Did polishing make any difference to longevity? Barely noticeable difference, but obviously if you do polish your car before applying it, it will look a hundred times better. Did the panel wipe make it last longer? Certainly on this test I couldn't see any evidence of that here, although it's always a good idea to have the paint as clean as possible before applying any paint protection. But if you don't want to, it's not going to make that much of a difference if you're using a wax. I've actually applied it to the BMW bonnet and wings and my initial thoughts are it's certainly a lot stronger than Sigma. Alpha just makes the car look like there's a physical barrier there between the paint and water. It's something very special to see the water run off on a rainy day as you're driving. Almost like a ceramic coat. So who's up for one last test?
iron oxide has done it. Just proves how good at decontaminating and cleansing the paintwork is with having that zero decon shampoo along with the theoglycolic acid of the fallout remover. So the unpolished side completely gone and the polished side, well there's still some stubborn areas on the edges. So it seems if you want the best of your wax then definitely polish your car. Loved having you along for the tests, I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to making the next one, see you there. Happy detailing.